You always did fancy yourself as a lawman. What are you doing? Selling it back to where it came from. Why? Well, I ain't got a market for it. They made it. They must have someone to sell it to. <clears throat> Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. I'll leave you fellas to it. Good luck. Thank you, John. We'll see you later. Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Sure, okay. Easy, okay, easy. let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? Yeah, I've been there. So, what exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? So, you were saying? I think that good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? Then it's time we made a formal introduction, like Dutch told us. Look, these are two big old plantation houses, and all I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a gray boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. I've been, well... Helping them. The mind boggles. You think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it, but maybe. Well, I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it. little homestead, isn't it? Hello, gentlemen, how are you? What's that in the back there? Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> okay, okay. She's at the house. We'll be watching you. You heard the man. Driver, proceed, please. something out in the hills thought thought maybe you was in the market for it for what some liquor I ain't in the market for what's already mine the way we see it it's ours <laughs> well with us possessing it and I, I checked all over for the life of me I couldn't see your name on it oh relax I ain't here to rob you <laughs> oh it seems that's easy enough <laughs> why not do a deal what do you sell that stuff for Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. 
Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. Pleasure doing business with you. And listen, uh, we didn't take it. At least not without orders from... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> As you wish, madam. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. All right. Next stop, the road saloon. Here we go. So I finally sold those Cornwall bonds. Got close to a thousand for them. I wanted more, but not bad considering how hot they were. Especially after that bloodbath in Valentine. No, not bad at all. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs. Gangs like us. Yeah, that don't surprise me. All right. This could get ugly. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town with... The sheriff. Yeah, Mr. Gray. That's it. Now we're inserting ourselves in his blood feud. <laughs> we'll need something. I ain't playing dress up. You know my feelings about that. Of course you're not. You're you're a clown's idiot brother. Isaiah, please. I'm the clown. You're the brother turned idiot. Just. Look sad and keep quiet. Even you can do that, Arthur. Oh, do I have to? Put this hat on. Uh, that. <sighs> Smoke this pipe. Bring your lip forward just a bit. Squint. Oh, perfect. Hey, what about you? Shh, shh. You can't speak. You're turned idiot. Right. Broke poor Mammy's heart. There, there, Fenton. There, there, don't get mad now. Hey, where are you going? Going or not? Let's get back on for crying out loud. You crazy? You'll go off cover. Get a move on, Arthur.
Keep it and stay calm now. For Mama, she loved you so. <laughs> Just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. Brother Fenton, don't mind him, don't madden him. He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys, how'd you boys like a couple of bucks? I bet you would. One for each of you. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? <laughs> Go along now. Enjoy the money! Come along, Fenton. Just hand out the liquor. Gentlemen! Gentlemen! My name is Melvin. That's my brother Fenton. He's a bit funny, but boy, can he pour drinks fast. For the next 30 minutes, the drinks in this here bar, in this here town, are entirely free. Yeah. Yeah. The only rule is that you gotta drink them. So hurry up, put old Fenton to work. Yeah. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. The whole thing. <laughs> Now come up to the bar, everybody. Come on, fellas, it's too late. I'll have one, Ben. Two drinks. A gift. Bounty. It's a sin to look a gift for a But I see a gift for a sin. Gonna buy. Jump! We're in advertising. Uh, come on in and have a drink. That's our goddamn liquor! An honest mistake! Boys, get him! Oh, 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 no. Just 
Coming after us. I see them. Well, shoot them then. If they go and find you, oh. I'm just on them. Coming out of the alley. Arthur, stick to the one that's coming at us. We run the liquor around here. Stay the hell out of our business. Damn it, they're still coming. Ah, more behind you. I want both those sons of bitches dead. never to take up a career in, what was it advertised yeah you think that woman set us up no i don't think so maybe this place is odd yeah i keep seeing those fellas some local militia clearly not too happy to have some new competition i'll go visit old my braithwaite see what's what why we've been making money the chest is filling up again slowly but surely Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor of you yet. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go speak to Dutch. So, what do you think? About what? The fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. 
On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. Mm. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retailing of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. You sure? Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other okay, anyway. Okay, well, Jose's gone back to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Hosea should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them, or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get an in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side, and then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot will be long gone. Think of it as payback for my daddy. Payback? I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. Evening. Mrs. Ed. Evening, Arthur. Miss Grimshaw. Oh, Mr. Morgan. I've jotted down a few things that I think could be uh, nice additions around here. I'll keep my eye out for some good material. Evening, Mr. Morgan. You've stopped paying into the box. I've been sort of busy, Miss Grimshaw. Hmm. Well, we all need to eat, Mr. Morgan. <sighs> I'll see what I can do. Thank you. Get your head out of the clouds. You want to join us, Arthur? Hey, Arthur. Okay. I'll see you later. You all right? Yeah. Hey, Charles. first met Dutch, when I first met many of you, I had just left the army. A and it wasn't on a case of no dishonorable discharge like I'm sure some of you have heard around here, but it was by mutual consent on the account of our differing opinions, or that's how the, that's how the captain put it. Differing opinions. With the army, they had their opinion, and I had mine. We was equals. But we went our separate ways. Now me, I, I, 
spent a few nights sleeping rough. I admit. Yeah. So, what do you think of this place? Better than your little hermit camp, right? Oh, it's wonderful, Arthur. Thank you for asking. Hey there.
Good on you. Good morning. Hey. Greetings, ladies. Hey, Mr. Strauss. This camp could do with a few improvements. Why don't you take a look at my ideas? Boy Scouts will be very pleased. <laughs> Guess we'll see if anyone notices. How's everything? Not too bad. Wipe that snooty look off your face for one minute, will you? I don't want to get into this, please. Never comes when I need it. It's a new game, Morgan. Yeah.
way. Please come in, sir. This way, sir. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. <sighs> Arthur, welcome. We were just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks? <laughs> well, he's surely big. But his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. <laughs> so these are the boys going to Caliga Hall? Yes, we can take care of that for you, but one hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you with a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. Can I drive? Nope. Let's get this over with. You was quiet in there. Took everything I had. That son of hers. I'll shove that silver spoon down his throat and pull it clean out of his ass. The smug fucker. Back on the road. Okay. So what's she got us doing at the Gray's place? She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? Yep. Using that back there. Moonshine? Born's faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fitting, she did. All I'm thinking is how about right by fitting my boot up your hook. No, just snotty old bitch. <laughs> Jose really picked the right fella for tea at the manor, didn't he? Ah, oh, he was giving his usual flannel. One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons. I mean, drive on the road, for Christ's sakes. Come on for sticking it to rich folks. I hate rich folks. But they really bear me some bloody money at the end of all this. Jose knows what he's doing. Does he, though? He's a master finagler of nothing. Easy, easy. So far, we've destroyed the breakaway. <laughs> Whoa! Hold up a second. Are you not worried about them greys, English? Excuse me? You not worried about them greys? In what sense? Well, they know you. You know what? Here, I'll go hide and back. If you can act naturally and stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. Try and do an impression of a human being. I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> Boy. I've... I've... There, there was a thing... A, a, a thing... at the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here. Uh, uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I, I mean you no harm. <laughs> I, I've come from Donegal, in, in Ireland. You don't say. 
Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> they said you'd understand uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies. Uh, sort of business, eh? Uh, uh, before the officials got there, okay. they said. Okay. Grab this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink, Sean. <coughs> Hamish. Good to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> Uh, fine bit of country you've got here. Uh, not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? And you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Just over here. Yeah, it's straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, and they said they was looking for more drivers in town. I jumped at the chance. I ain't never been a fella to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. Bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Oh dear, oh dear, I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> You don't know the half. Just in there. Ah, right you are. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. <clears throat> <clears throat> Uh, quite a place you yeah. boys have got here. <laughs> Reminds me of one of them big houses there, uh, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy place as they was, Hamish. Real fancy. Because if some folks got all the money, they can build quite the fanciest places imaginable, eh? <clears throat> okay. You can hold up in here till it gets dark. How you getting on? Good. Nearly got these things ready. Okay. There's plenty of guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine. And then we light things up with these little fellers here. Thankfully, it ain't rained. And that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> How many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. <laughs> Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was born born at down manor houses. We'll burn quietly. Someone coming on the left. Ha. Ha. Oh, hey. Well, I, I thought the wagon already arrived. This one didn't. Strange. So, what you got there? Tools, payroll. Okay. Drop it by the supply shed at the back of the fields. Sure. See you later. You hear that? Payroll. Yeah. Let's get this job done first, okay? I'll take care of this fella. when you're done. Showing them fields up good, all right? Keep your head down. Uh, 
That should do it. It's good for here. I'm gonna douse this too. Have something with a flame, right? Damn mess! Damn it! Come on, Scott! You die! You ain't 
paid real well for this. Bloody right! Got our money's worth, Ali. Let's just get out of here first. Whoa. I think we lost them. That we did. Quite a night. 
Sure. Interesting little fight Dutch has put us into the middle of here. Uh, I hope him and Jose are right and that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? Sure. Yeah. 